first one you gotta give I mean, credit would be the Celtics today. Shot the ball really, really well. Um, they had a great ball movement, great body movement. Very, very comfortable, uh, incredible atmosphere, right? Our defense continues to be um, something we got to continue to work on. You know, many of us are in a situation where you can easily put your head down given what we're going through, but that's part of the process for growth and development. But I think today was more about how well Creighton played. So you got to give them a lot of credit, great energy, great crowd, right? Big East game, great Big East game. You know, we got to give ourselves a chance from a defensive standpoint. But in saying that, I just thought they were clicking on all cylinders and we just had a tough time matching up to them. So it was one of those games you, you thought you'd play better. I liked our energy to start. But again, our, our turnovers, our lack of alertness, many of those things caught up to us against a, you know, a top 20 team. So I thought this was more about how well Creighton played versus um, our inability to get stops at the right time. Uh, I thought he played okay. Uh, you know, we need we need him to play better. Uh, we need him to continue to lead us. Uh, but I, I thought he was just okay. Just just okay. Baylor, uh, Shireman had the first triple double points in history rebounds in Creighton history. I know you've only coached against him for two years, but different teams, different personnel. What's it like to coach against that guy? It's actually the third year we played against him. Uh, he was oh, at yeah, South Dakota right. State. When we played him in the tournament, uh, he was a high-level player there. I think he's an NBA player. I think he has an incredible feel. Um, he's a very, very good player. He's an all-conference player. And, you know, big-time players step up in big-time moments, and this was his moment. Coach, how tough is, is Creighton's offense to slow down when they get rolling like that early? Like was said earlier, I mean, I mean, when they get comfortable like that and – they're making 17 threes. I mean, this reminds me of 2013 or 14. We had played Max team, and we won a game. I think it was his son's senior year. Lost that. It lost that game, and then he went to Villanova and made a million threes. I don't know how many it was, but I'm pretty sure. It, I mean, it's got to be close to a, 17 threes. Is in the way they shot shot 68 percent. It was almost like they were playing five on zero on offense. First half offense, how do you feel about the some of the decisions off the dribble to attack Kaufbinner and the way they were in the first half? It seemed like that was kind of leading to a lot of their transition. Over time. I don't think we played smart offensively in that stretch. There was a 10-0 stretch that was the game. We went to the, you know, we, we subbed, and I thought that was the game. That was a critical point of the game. It went from, I think, 4-12 to 12 or 4-14. to 14. You know, and, and again, I don't think we were as um, alert and aware like, you know, the dude's a really, really good defensive player in front of the rim, and you, you just have to play a little bit more alert in front of the rim going against a shot blocker of his caliber. Any other questions? They played really, really well today. The guy's got a hell of a coach, too. Hope you all appreciate him. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.